Gasly opens up on Alpha Tauri. If you could pick one driver who wasn't happy with how the season unfolded for him, that would definitely be Pierre Gasly. The 26-year-old Frenchman has had a very tough time in Alpha Tauri in 2022, especially after coming from two strong seasons where he won his maiden race and had a couple of podiums. In fact, this was just the second season of Gasly's career where he went without a podium. Quite a shocking statement given the fact that he drove for teams like Toro Rosso for the entirety of his career and just 13 races with Red Bull. But now that he's an Alpine, he has some interesting and quite harsh words to add to his tenure with Alpha Tauri. Pierre Gasly has finalized his contract with Alpine, and from 2023 on, he'll be a crucial part of the team's all-French lineup, something that Alpine has fantasized about for so long and now has finally been able to capitalize on. However, it doesn't come without its own challenges, and we're likely to see some interesting battles between Ocon and Gasly, who aren't having the best of relationships with each other. Gasly debuted with Toro Rosso in 2017, and just two years later he got his dream fulfilled by joining the senior team of Red Bull. But for some reason he wasn't ready for this challenge, and the pace and performance he presented to the world was very disappointing, with Gasly being overlapped by Verstappen in Budapest and being released from Red Bull right from this moment. But when this happened, it's like a switch turned on in Gasly's head as he decided all of a sudden to deliver top-notch performances in the following seasons. He won his first career race in Monza in 2020, and despite his outstanding results, Red Bull wasn't ready to commit to him yet again. This meant only one thing, and that's that Gasly needed to find another team if he wants to score podiums, win races, and even fight for championships sometimes in the future. Even when Alpha Tauri was scoring good points in 2020 and 2021, it was evident that they were far from the pace that they needed to be in order to have strong finishes and compete for wins, something that Gasly himself said. And with Red Bull committing to Perez for a couple of more seasons, when debates started about whether Gasly would be a good replacement for the Mexican in 2022 or even 2023, Gasly's path out of Alpha Tauri was clearly shown, and even Red Bull agreed to this as they didn't want to hold back his progress and his growth. Now that he doesn't have any ties with Red Bull and Alpha Tauri, what does he have to say regarding the time spent with the Italian team? Obviously, Gasly is just like us, an ordinary human being with realistic expectations. After coming P6 and P7 in 2020 and 2021 in the Constructors' Championship, one couldn't help but hope that Alpha Tauri's 2022 season would be equivalent to the previous two, or even better, given the fact that Red Bull absolutely dominated the sport. Still, this did not occur, and Gasly for one was dissatisfied with how the 2022 season ended for him and the team, believing that this was not all they had in storage. When talking about his tenure in Alpha Tauri, and especially for the 2022 season, one that he was frequently out of Q1 and didn't have enough pace to compete in the racing events, Gasly added, From my side, what I can feel, it's more the fact of working and trying to maximize a car which didn't have the same potential as 2021. Gasly told Motorsport.com in an end-of-season interview. It's not easy, also trying to keep the motivation in the engineering room, with the guys trying to keep the focus of everyone to minimize the mistakes. Because at the end, even if you do the same sport and the same season, the dynamic is quite different, especially last year was amazing for everyone and we had the most successful year. There was quite a lot of expectations from this year, and it's fair to say we've been quite far away from what we had expected or what we had wished for. Still, the fact that this was Gasly's second season without scoring a podium in his F1 career stands as it is, and one couldn't justify the lack of pace and speed of Alpha Tauri when it comes to this particular stat. We are yet to see how the team will perform with Nick De Vries and Yuki Tsunoda from 2023 on, but that is less interesting information that Formula One fans are supposed to see compared to Gasly's performance in Alpine. Now that the Frenchman has been presented with the challenge of performing in a top-notch team, it's evident that the relationship between him and Ocon will have to be on the highest level possible in order for them to succeed in this all-French dream. But nevertheless, Gasly's performance in Alpha Tauri in 2022 could have taken a bit of a toll on his self-confidence, something that he's been very well aware of. Gasly was questioned about whether the 2022 season was the toughest one in his career, especially with how Alpha Tauri performed the previous season. When talking about the matter, Gasly added, in a way, probably yes, considering that I have more experience and I've experienced good and less good times, more or less success with the team. 
This year, with the change of regulations, unfortunately, we didn't manage to capitalize on this opportunity. There were, for sure, some difficulties from it, but I think some other teams, in fairness, did a better job than we did. We didn't really get our opportunities from this change. What comes now for the Frenchman? He has accomplished his dream of competing on a team that is able to score podium finishes and even strong point weekends as well. But as we saw in 2022, the relationship between Ocon and Alonso wasn't on the best of terms, meaning that Ocon doesn't want someone else who is better than him. When presented with the challenge of defending, Ocon has used every kind of trick possible in the rulebook to avoid being overtaken, and that's something that didn't sit well with Alonso. However, the Spaniard had little left to prove, and even if he did, Alpine isn't a team that would have provided him the opportunity to do so. On the contrary, Gasly does have his entire career ahead of him, and Alpine could be the perfect platform for him to be a better driver and a potential champion in the future, which is why he won't bend to any pressure that will be presented to him from Ocon and his dirty tricks. But on the other hand, Rossi, the CEO of Alpine, said that now that the team has achieved its dream of having an all-French lineup, the last thing they would want is to have a battle between the teammates, and he would do everything that is in his power to prevent it. He even threatened to fire both of the drivers if they started with this nonsense from 2023 on, and the fact that both Alpine drivers' families are banned from attending the same racing weekend speaks volumes about the precautionary measures that Alpine is taking in order to avoid conflicts on the track. When talking about this matter, Rossi added, If any problems come up, they will be the losers, because everyone expects that, and many think they are big kids. There they can show that they have transformed into mature leaders. At the end of the contract, they will approach 30. They must not mess up because it is dangerous to find yourself pushed out of a team because you haven't shown sufficient maturity. Both are aware of this, and they have affirmed it to me individually and together. But what does Gasly have to say about his potential relationship with Ocon? Obviously, he is the newbie here, and it could take some time to get used to the French machinery. But given the fact that Gasly is an immense talent, this shouldn't present too much of a problem. And what gives us hope that everything will be all right between these two drivers is the fact that both of them are willing to work on their differences and make the all-French dream come true. When talking about his future relationship with Ocon, Gasly added, Esteban is the guy I know in the paddock for the longest. We met at six years old, 20 years ago, and have a long past history. I will say he's done quite a lot since we both made it to F1, achieved one of our dreams, got our opportunities here in the paddock, and we both want to win and fight for championships. With that being said, it's going to be a very interesting period ahead for Gasly and his teammate Ocon, and some fierce battles are going to follow from 2023 onwards. Who do you think will prevail in this fight? And lastly, do you think that Gasly was in the right to make such comments to Alpha Tauri? Let us know in the comments below.